So I want, I want you to say something with me. I want you to repeat this. Say preparation for separation. Preparation for separation. This morning uh, I was at uh, our church service and that just kept coming to my spirit. And I've heard that before. And as I was thinking about it, I was thinking, have you in your life ever felt like that you had been there so many times, you, you felt wanted, you felt like you were supposed to be there, but when, but this spe uh, specific time or these times leading up to this, you have been starting to feel misplaced. Or you've been starting to feel like, I'm not supposed to be here anymore. I, 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 don't, I don't like being around these people anymore. Or I feel like I don't have a connection there anymore. I believe God might be actually calling you to a new location in Him. You see, before, before you become a, a Christian, you're okay with doing, or, or if you're a dormant Christian, not an active Christian, and you actually took the, took the, uh, the choice of saying, you know what, I'm going to make my life a verb, an action, I'm going to start playing this thing out. You, you were okay with being around a certain people. You were okay with being in certain uh, uh, places and, or situations, and, and it's okay. But lately, as you find yourself around those people and around those places, you feel like you're not supposed to be there. You feel like that you're supposed to be in a, other, in a whole completely different place, but you don't know where, you don't know why. I believe that God is calling you to separation. I believe God is consecrating you, meaning separating you from who, you're, who you used to be to who you're supposed to be now. I believe God is calling you to a separation to holiness in Him. Think of this, think of this right here. In Acts chapter 1, we know how uh, uh, Jesus tells the, tells the, uh, the disciples, well, I'm, I'm going to leave so you can you know, receive the spirit, right? The, the, the fullness of the power, right? Uh, he says, stay in Jerusalem. But here's the cool thing is that they were on the Mountain of Olives. Their location where they're always at, when they seen Jesus uh, depart, they were always with uh, Jesus in that one place. But after he was departed, the, the, the two angels showed up and said, where are y'all going? Where are y'all at? Right? And he, he tells them to go back to Jerusalem. And Jesus said, go back to Jerusalem and wait for me and you're going to receive the power. They had to relocate. They had to change their location to get the revelation of what God was talking to them about sending the Spirit to them. So He prepared them for separation. He prepared them so that, so that all throughout His ministry He was telling them about something else that's going to come. That's why He got to go. He was preparing them for a separation. See, they were with the world for so long, but he was showing them that once they begin that baptism of the Holy Spirit, they were going to be separated from everybody else. They are going to have a new thing inside of them. They are going to be different from this world. They are going to be transformed by that Holy Spirit. When the dividing fires lit up inside each one of them, what they walked out of that house, and after they walked out of that house, and they thought they were drunk on wine, but they were drunk on the Spirit, and, and they went they went forth just going with the power and the boldness of the Holy Spirit. But what happened is they changed their location to get the revelation that God told them that they were going to receive. But they were sensitive to the Spirit to go to where they needed to go. They didn't stay where they were at. They felt the calling to go to where they were supposed to go. Jesus told them where they were supposed to go. But after Jesus left, they, 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 they felt that calling to change the location to where they needed to go to get the revelation of what God spoke to them. So my question is to you, as you think about preparation to separation, separation, consecration to holiness, th thinking about God preparing you to be a holy, to be set apart, to be completely different than where you are today, yesterday, tomorrow, you're going to be somebody new tomorrow. When you think about that, think about where you are at this moment of listening to this video. Think about where you were earlier in the, today. Think about where you plan on going tomorrow. And think about your feelings when you're around those things. Or those people or those places. Do you feel a calling inside your heart that feels like he is tugging you outside of that place? Do you feel that when you're in church, you're supposed to be going up to the altar, hitting your knees, and giving everything to him, but you stay in your seat? What do you feel? 
He is preparing all of us for a greater thing. He is preparing us to walk in the holiness of Him. He is preparing us to separate us on His right and, 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 and the world on His left. He's preparing us so that when, when He brings this, other, this outpouring of this new spirit, He's preparing us to receive that. Before you make a dinner, you prepare everything. And then what happens? What does your mom or dad tell you? Go go do what to the table? We, we say go set the table. Some of them say go prepare the table. You have to prepare before you can receive. God is saying preparation for separation. Preparation to consecration. Preparation to the holiness of what I have for you. So my question is, are you answering the call to preparating uh, to, uh, uh, the preparation in your life so that you could be consecrated to the holiness, to the spirit of holiness of God in Jesus Christ? Father, Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for the call upon our lives, Lord. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be tugged, Father God, into a deeper, more consecration, more separated, more holiness of your spirit to walk in the bold and the power that your, your disciples did once they relocated and got the revelation of Jesus Christ of the Holy Spirit in their lives. They went, they went and changed and changed the world and flipped it upside down for your cause, for, your, for, for, the, for the Christ, Father God. So, Lord, as you prepare us to be consecrated, and to receive that same power, allow us to go in that power and allow us to flip it upside down the way that they did. So we can walk in, the, in, in, in your shoes following your example. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.